Welcome back. So as I said last lesson, what I want to do is kind of stop out the actual service that we're using right here. So I don't want to use the real service that we are dependency injecting right here. I want to create a new service that's fake. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to jump into our test file and just make a simple service down here. So I'll just make a class, nothing else. And I'm just going to call it product service stop. And it's just a name. So if you want to call it something else, that's up to you. I'm going to put that in here. So now we have a new service stop that's kind of just a way for us to represent the things that the real service can do right so we're going to need a function like add product with image so let's just add that in there just for the fun of it no let's actually wait i'll wait with that i'll wait now we just have a new service stop right here and what i kind of want to do is i want to use this service stop to explain to the system instead of dependency injecting the real product service go and dependency inject the service stop. Now that means I have full control about what the service will return to me and I have full control what will happen in specific events inside the service. Pretty much meaning that now I can decide hard code and decide what should happen when I send in this information. I can make sure that I send in the right information. I can start testing a lot of things but instead of using the real service that is dependent on Firestore, I can actually just use a fake service where I can completely, I have full control about what should be in here and what shouldn't be in here, if that makes sense. So that's kind of why I want to do it. Now the second thing I need to do is figure out how I can actually use this guy instead of the real service up here. How do I want to use, how can I use the stop or the fake service, the mock service? Luckily it's very simple because I can actually declare a provider right here. The providers is just declaring services. Now what we want to do is we want to declare a new provider and we want to override the default product service. Now you can also do this in normal um, Angular modules. You can actually go in and override services. So this is not only for tests. You could actually go and create new services and override old ones if you want to kind of do some testing environments, stuff like that. Let's not jump into that right now. So how do we actually override a service? The first thing we do is we write provide. And this is actually the service that we want to override. So in my case, I want to override the product service, right? That's the one I want to override. So this is the name of the guy that I want to override. Right? So, so in this case, I want to override the one called product service. Right? So what do I want to override him with? I can say use class and then put in here exactly what class I want to override him with. And I want to override him with the product stop. Let me just remove this right now. So there we go. Now we know that when I run the test now, instead of using the real product service that exists, I'm going to try and use the service stop. And again, the reason I want to do this is I don't care about how the service takes care of saving the data in this component. That's not the goal. The goal for this test is figuring out if I call the service with the right information, if I call the right methods inside that service. I don't care how it's done. I just care that when I do save, I want to make sure that I actually call this function and that I call it with the right information. Or else there's something wrong, if that makes sense. So. Great, let's try and see what happened here. Now we just added a new provider. Let's see if that changed our test. It actually did. There's no failures now in the add component. There's just failures in the product list component. So we are actually done with the add component for now. Again, we'll get back to this. We'll make this work and we'll start testing this a lot more. So that's it for this lesson. Now you guys know how you can add providers to your test and how you can actually override the, the normal providers with your own mock providers so we can start building something a lot more specific right here and we'll dive more into that in the upcoming lessons. See you next time. Have fun.